Hey, greetings YouTubers. It's your main man Black Lion here. And um, today I just want to talk about life. Just life. Um, I'm here in the office, right? Um, this is a family business. Um, something I don't necessarily have to do, but it's not, you know, difficult. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's extra money, but it's not something I have to do. So I'm here and um, I hear this loud, you know, this loud bang sound um, from time to time. You know, we have uh, dump trucks and everything that are in the vicinity. So I really didn't think anything of it. And, um, you know, next thing you know, I, I look out of the window and I see like all of these people getting out of their car and running towards something. So, you know, I lock up and I go and check it out. And um, it's this crash, and it's horrible, it's horrible, it's horrible. It's, um, you know, this guy, um, I don't even know how it happened, um, but this guy crashed into a woman, two-way street. I guess he came over a little bit too much into her lane, and it was this loud bang sound, right? And, um, yeah, it was pretty horrible. So I went, and I see the guy, he's kind of, he's kind of delirious. He's moving, he's bloody, but, you know, and um, and then the woman on the other side, like, she can't move. She can't move. Um, you know, people are, are trying to talk to both of them, trying to, you know, make them stay inside of consciousness. And, like, I, I think she could talk. I think she was talking a little bit, but um, she wasn't moving at all, you know. And um, her car was over in the bushes, and, you know, it was just a real bad deal. And... Uh, I don't know if she's gonna survive, you know what I mean? Or if she does survive, I don't know if she'll ever be able to like move again. And it's real unfortunate of what happened to them, but it, I don't know, it just made me think even more, like you, you have to be able to do what you want to do. Cause you know, your life could end at any moment. Your life could end at any moment. Like they were just driving along the day. I'm sure they had no intention of getting in any accident or, you know, I, I know she wasn't thinking, oh, will today be the day I die? And it, it just got me to thinking, man, you have to be able to do what you want to do. Get, get to that place in life where you can call your own shots. You can be your own boss. You can be the person in charge of your own destiny. Because if, let's say that was you or me that that happened. Well, let's say it was you that it happened to. I don't even want to speak that it existed for myself. But let's say it was you that it happened to. What would you say about your life right now? Are you where you want to be? Or, you know, um, do you have the money and all the necessary things so your family would be, you know, be able to take care of themselves? And, you know, do you have health insurance? Do you have life insurance? Do you have everything in place that, you know, man, Lord forbid something should happen to you, you know, your family, your loved ones are taken care of, you know, you're not burdening them with like thousands of dollars worth of debt. And um, if the answer is no, then, then, you know, let this be your wake up call. Let this be your call to all arms, call to action, your call to change. You got to get... Get yourself in a position where you don't have to work for anyone. Get yourself in a position where you're making your money for yourself. Get yourself in a position where you have no boss. Get yourself in a position that, you know, you are truly happy with your life. So if, Lord forbid, something should happen to you, you know, you can say, okay, I've lived a great life. If it's my time, it's my time. But I don't think any of those people out there, the cops and everything, they're still outside uh you know they got the road blocked off so I, I really can't leave for a little bit but um uh it's it's it's, it's really sad man it's, it's it's really bad um i don't think that woman will ever walk again you know I, I don't even know if she's gonna make it you know but you know let this be your like i said your call to action your call to arms like find a way to make yourself some money um there's so many um websites and there's so many uh, YouTube channels and pages with things where you can do to make you some passive income. So look into those avenues and, and try to bring you some passive income in. You know, one of my good friends, I kind of 
made her see the light with life and, and, and where she was going and, you know, how she was not fulfilling her potential the way that she should be fulfilling it. And, um, you know, she started looking into different things. Now she got her a business. You know, she started three businesses, actually, you know, I, you know, and um, one of them, like, she signs notary stuff for, you know, does notary signings. And, um, like, one day she made, maybe it was like $135, right, within an hour. And I'm explaining to her, you, you see, like, most people don't make $135 in a day. So you have to find that thing that you can do to, to supplement your income. First, find what you can do to supplement your income, right? And and to do that, you know, you can't just, you know, be in that nine to five mentality. You have to like, your five to nine, That that's gonna be your most um, important time to do anything. We got to get up that, that nine to five, you know, let that five to nine, you know, that's going to be your time where you, you make your biggest impact. You got to find a way to, I don't know if you, if you have items you could, you know, sell, um, on eBay. That's one of the things I do. You know, I have a couple YouTube channels. That's another way I make money. Um, like I said, I, I do the, uh, notary signing things as well. And that's, that's a good, you know, it's a good little side bit of income. It takes relatively little amount of time to get your notary, uh, at least in my state, isn't difficult at all. And, um, you know, you can really make some money doing it. You know, you just have to have the, you have to want it. You have to want it, you know. So that's the biggest thing. Find the thing you can do. Like, if you're good at something, have a YouTube channel about it, you know. If you're, if you're, if you're not the type that, you know, is kind of shy and reserved, you know, put it out, put it out to your Facebook, you know, friends and whatnot. I, I really don't know. I don't really don't want my Facebook people to know anything that I do. So um, I, I don't go that way. I try to do it more, um, you know, grassroots, just whoever sees it, sees it. But um, you, you, you got to find a way to make that extra money, man. You got to find a way. So, you know, if, if Lord forbid that would, that were me today, I would know, you know what? Um, from my time in the military, I can always go to a VA hospital, and um, I have, you know, uh, you know, I think I got a, I can't remember how many life insurance policies I have, but um, I mean, my, my children will be, my family will be well taken care of, you know, and I don't leave any real bills behind, you know, um, I just unfortunately bought a car, but you know, they, they can pay that off easily, or yeah. You know, it doesn't even matter. But um, I know they would be well taken care of. So, you know, it's just a wake-up call. Make sure you have all your affairs in order. And, and if you were to die today, how would you feel about the life that you lived? If, if you were, you know, we were put on this earth to do more than pay bills and die. So if that's all you're doing, then you're not living your life to its full potential. You know, if you're only just paying bills going through the motions, getting by, you know, keeping your head above water and making a wave when you can, you know, like the uh, good times, then then you're not really living good times, you know. But if you can, you know, if you can go, if you can, if you're the master of your own schedule, if you're the master of your own destiny, if you can do what you want, when you want, and, and no one can tell you otherwise because they can't stop your money, then, then that's truly a good life lived. And, and that's what I'm trying to get across to my children, and that's what I'm trying to. That's what I'll try to get across to anyone who will listen to me. You know, be the master of your own destiny. Don't you don't have to have a boss. Like you went to school, and and they trained you to be. They don't train you to be bosses. They train you to be workers. They train you to be subservient workers who will sit somewhere for eight hours, never question anything, and be afraid of the person uh, in the position of authority. That's what school does, and that's one of the re that's the reason I took my children out of school because I don't want them to subscribe to that way of living. You know, I, I don't think that's right. I say be the master of your own destiny, be your own boss, make your own rules. You know, find a way as long as it's within the law. You know, 
you know, it's, it's not bad. As long as you're not breaking any laws and, and, and you know, you're not hurting anyone. Like, if, if she continues to do what she's doing, my friend who's in the real estate, um, the, the notary closings, if she can make, if she can do three a day, you know, that, that's $135 a day. Um, like I said, most people don't make that a day. This predatory capitalistic society that, we, society that we live in here in America has rendered half of its population poor. So most people on uh, that live in America don't even make thirty thousand dollars a year because you know because of this predatory capitalism, because of the NAFTA and all these bad trade deals that send good paying jobs over to poor brown countries for people who will do them. Uh, for much less, not ask any questions, and if they do ask any questions, they're probably tortured or beat. So, um, the the American system is set up in a certain way where you know the people who actually work for their money are taxed the most. But it's bad and it's messed up. But don't just say, "Oh, woe is me." Take advantage of that system. You know what I mean? They they tax capital gains at a at a lower rate than they do actual work. So find your way to make capital gains. Find your way to do something to get you out of that system. Like the system is rigged for the one percent. All right. Well, use the riggings that they have for the one percent to your own benefit. All right. You know, invest in those stocks. Invest in those you know, real estate, invest it, do what the 1% is doing to the best of your ability. If you can find some extra money, do what they're doing to get your money game up. And and then, you know, find your own way of freedom, find your own way of doing your own thing. You know, I've been, I listen to these different um, people online and they have some great ideas. And um, some I do, some I tailor to myself, or some, you know, you know, that's not really for me, but I pass it on to somebody who maybe can benefit from, you know, something like what they're talking about. And, um, you know, I, I can't just let, if, if you're gonna hang around me, the type of person I am, if you're gonna hang around me, you have to have a business, you have to have this, you have to have that. Like, I'm gonna show you how to get money. I'm not gonna give you a handout, but I'm gonna give you a hand up because I want you to get it just like I'm getting it and just like all the people around me are getting it. So if, if you're gonna so have that same have that same mentality for yourself and the people around you. If you I know you've probably heard this this um this saying before, but if you're the, the, the highest one in your circle of friends, then you're in the wrong circle of friends because you're not learning anything from these people, you know. Most likely they're they're hangers on to you. So you need a new circle of friends. Get out, meet some new people, find some new ways. In my in my um in my experience, people are willing to, you know, tell like I said, they're willing to give you a hand up, but not a hand out. Like I'm not gonna give you my money or I'm not gonna do this, but I'll show you how I did it and you can tailor it to try to do it your own way. So uh, this, this is a long way of just saying find your way to do what you want so you don't die with, with regrets, man. You don't die being somebody else's slave and if, you know, somebody's wage slave. If, you, if you're not familiar with that concept, um, I'll probably do a video on it, but if you're, if you're working for someone else and they tell you what to do, where to go, what time to be here, you know, what to wear, how to do this, how to do that, that person is your master. And you're their wage slave because if you don't do what they tell you, if you don't do what master tells you, then you won't be rewarded with that wage that you need to get by. So you are their wage slave. So don't be a slave. Find your way. Do what you got to do. Get out of the system. You know, unplug from the matrix and get right. But um, I don't know. I just had to make this little impromptu video. The people are still out there, you know. Like I said, I think that woman died today. And... Um, it's very unfortunate, you know, but it just got me to thinking and, uh, you know, I just had to put this out of the ether. Like, my kids are taken care of. My family is taken care of. Should anything happen to me, you know, I don't have any bills. I don't have any, you know, well, I just bought a new car, so I'm, I'm still used to saying I don't have any bills. But, you know, my passive income, the way I have it structured is I, I, I set the payments up, like, as far out as I could get them so they're really low. So I'm going to try to knock, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay this car off within within two years, even though I got to finance for six. But like I'm saying, like, but those little payments aren't going to hurt me. And I, I can, you know, I can leave the, the, the family job situation anytime I want because I, I, it's not like, it's not necessary. Like my passive income will take care of any expenses that I have. So 
find your way to have that secondary, that passive income, that side hustle, whatever you call it. Find it, hone it, and make it, and then hopefully within time, you can make it your primary deal so you can get off of that corporate plantation so you can stop, you know, being a wage slave to master so you can you can live the life that you want to live, a fulfilled life with nobody telling you where to go, what to do, and you're living just for you and your family. But um, anyway, I just had to get that out of me either. Um, till next time, guys. Well, if you like, please like, share, subscribe. Um, catch you on the flip. Till next time, hit me roar. Peace.